this cohesion tension theory or the transpiration pull theory also known as suction due to transpiration. This theory explains about the ascent of sap in the tall trees. Here the main factors are transpiration that is loss of water in the form of water vapor by the aerial organs of the plant. Another thing cohesion force or the cohesion tension. It is force of attraction between water molecules. In one end water is positively charged, other end it is negatively charged. And due to the polarity water molecules are always remain associated with each other by the hydrogen bond. And this force of attraction between the two similar molecule is the cohesion force. So, water molecules always remain associated with each other by the hydrogen bond and this is the cohesion force. Adhesion force is again responsible The movement of water occur through the xylem. The wall of xylem is formed of cellulose and the lignin also deposited on it. So, lignin cellulosic wall is always remain associated with the water molecule. So, here the force of attraction between the wall of the xylem and the water molecule is the adhesion force. And due to this force, the water molecules always associate with or adhere with the xylem wall. So, this way the force of attraction between the xylem wall and the water molecules and this is adhesion force. Now, how these three processes or the phenomenon are responsible for the ascent of sap and why it is called suction due to transpiration. Remember that water always release water loss from the aerial organ of the plant that is leaf. If we draw this tomato, these are the guard cells. Surrounding the guard cell, the epidermal cells are present. These are epidermal cell. This is the vein or the vascular bundle having xylem and the phloem. When transpiration occur, the water loss occur from the stomata. Water loss from the stomata simply formed by guard cell in the vaporized form. When water is lost from the guard cell of the stomata in the vaporized form, they reduce their water potential. Simply the cell which loses water reduces its own turgor pressure and when turgor pressure reduces or decreases water potential ultimately reduces. Now water always tend to move from the region of high water potential to the region of low water potential. Now what happens water from the surrounding epidermal cell which has a high water potential move towards the guard cells and this way the one cell absorb water from its surrounding cell due to loss of water in the transpiration. Water molecules in the leaf are always associated with each other by the adhesion force as well with the wall of the cells in the mesophyll region. There is always a thin layer 
of water molecules remain in the leaf cells as water has a high surface tension in the liquid form with compared to gaseous form. Now here the gar cell loses water, gar cell now absorb water from the surrounding epidermal cell, one cell absorb water from its surrounding epidermal cell. So this way due to transpiration a tension develops within the water molecules and water molecules are attracted or pulled towards the gar cell. This way this force of attraction continues or we can say it is a decreasing gradient of water potential. Initially gar cell loses water it reduces its water potential then after the epidermal cell loses water they reduce the water potential then after the xylem vessel loses the water and they reduce the water potential. So this decreasing gradient of water potential from the gar cell to the stem and through the root develops and due to this force the water is taken or sucked absorbed from this surrounding region and this way the ascent of sap generates. So this way the transpiration is responsible for the suction of water or to generate a pull it is called as a suction due to transpiration or it is a transpiration pull theory. Very important thing here the cohesive force and the adhesive force play a significant role. Due to cohesive force water molecules are always attach with each other, they remain associate with each other from all the sides in the xylem vessel. When the pool develops from upper side due to transpiration the entire water column moves upward and this is due to cohesive force. What is role of adhesive force here? Due to adhesive force water molecules adhere with the wall of the xylem due to adhesive force water molecules are always remain adhere or attached with the wall of xylem. Water always move upward but never moves downwards from the height of any where it reached. So this way cohesive force and adhesive force are play significant role in that. Due to transpiration a pull develops and water moves upward. So this way we can explain the ascent of sap in the tall trees. Remember that here the cohesive force between the water molecule is nearly 1000 atmospheric pressure and is more than required for the ascent of sap in the tall trees. This phenomenon this theory was given by Dixon, jolly weather scientist who explained the transmission pool theory to explain the ascent of sap.